Hey everyone, my name is Chris Anderson and I'm with Chemist Juan Sanchez and today we're going to learn a little bit about smell and taste. So Juan, what's happening when I taste something? You know, when we taste something, something has to happen in order for us to, to taste something, right? Which we taste with our tongues. Mm -hmm. So first, whatever compound it is that we're tasting has to dissolve in our saliva. Okay, so it's got to dissolve, the food's got to dissolve first. Yep. Okay. Dissolves in our saliva, and then when those compounds are there in our saliva, they travel to our taste receptors, and then they kind of, you know, they bind to the taste receptors, and this creates sort of like a signal that is then taken to our brains, and we perceive as the sense of taste. So, I eat French fries. Who doesn't love French fries? Yeah. French fries, I bite into my saliva starts to break down the French fries, and whatever chemicals that are in the French fries, uh, my the receptors on my tongue will will connect to you and then it will send a thing to my brain said french fries good yep and I mean that happens right away for french fries we're really just talking about the salt that's sprinkled on yeah right? so as soon as you know you put that french fry on your tongue like instantly that salt goes straight to the taste receptors and boom you get that signal so how I, I know I heard, I've heard about taste buds how mm -hmm. do taste buds play into this sure well, there are different kinds of taste buds and they have different names, um, they're, but broadly speaking, they're all the technical term are called papillae. Papillae. And there are different papillae in different parts of the tongue. There are some on the sides, there are some on the back that kind of form a ring, mm -hmm. and then there are some kind of in the front and just kind of all over the place. And they also vary. I mean, some people have a lot of taste buds, other people don't have as many. It doesn't necessarily translate into being more or less sensitive to taste, it's just sort of a characteristic that we have, like okay. hair or something. So the, the, the taste receptors are localized on these papillae, on these taste buds. Uh, and so that's where all of the sensors are that we use to taste. So my taste buds are the things that, ha the pap our papillae is would be a more technical term. Mm -hmm. They have the, chem the chemical receptors on them for me to taste things like saltiness on a french fry or you know the sweetness in some ice cream, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yep, exactly. And you know, I mean, they're, they're kind of all over the tongue. Uh, and even on the soft palate, which is kind of like behind our soft palate, mm. kind of back of the throat. So they're really kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So they're really kind of all, you know, all over the place. Yeah. So how does taste then, how is that taste different than smell? Because mm -hmm. they, it seems like they work together. How are they, how are they connected to each other then? How are they, and how are they different? Definitely, yeah. Well, so, it, we, you know, we, we, we can smell things that are in front of us, but we can also smell things when they're in our mouths, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's what we call flavor, right? It's kind of like the, the perception of a smell being in our mouths while we're also tasting something. Okay. Probably one of the big differences between taste and smell is that nothing is dissolving in our saliva. Instead, it's actually compounds that are dissolving in the air. And as we're exhaling, those are going into our noses. And then as they're coming, coming out, then we're picking them up by our sense of smell. So we're, we're smelling and we're tasting different compounds. Okay, so when I taste, it's things that have been dissolved in my saliva, so maybe like water-soluble things. And then when I smell things, it's things that are kind of dissolved in the air, so they're kind of floating around. And together, they give me the experience of food. Yep, a flavor, kind of like that full together with the texture and the color. I mean, everything kind of comes together to form your perception of eating any particular thing. So Juan, how does smell impact taste? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I actually have a uh, little bit of a taste experiment that here so I can show you the difference. Cool, well, hit me with your best smell. Great, let's do it. Okay, Chris, so here we are in a totally different classroom. Okay. And uh, we are uh, going to show you some different candies. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna kind of taste them one by one. Okay. You're blindfolded, and I want you to hold your nose when you're eating these. Okay, I can and do that. And that's going to help you see the difference between the sense of taste and the sense of smell and how those work together to give you the full impression of the flavor of a food. Okay, I'm ready. Cool. So here you go. This is a vial with some candies. Okay. And uh, just you can take the first one out and they're only going to come out one by one, so... Tastes like sugar. Okay. So it's sweet? It's sweet. I could, I could taste sweetness. Anything else that you're getting? Not really. A little bit of orange, maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's mostly just sweet. Okay. Uh, now, I think this is going to be a little bit sorry. I'm going to give you the second one so you can keep holding your nose. It's important that you keep holding your nose. So if you have to breathe, just breathe through your mouth. <laughs> uh, and so here is the second candy. Okay. 
A little brighter, a little brighter sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guess the flavor? If I were to venture a guess, I'd say lime. But that's, it's not, it doesn't taste overwhelmingly limey. Is it similar to the previous one? They're both actually very similar because they're both very sweet. Like that's the most predominant flavor I'm experiencing is sweetness. Okay. It's just like little itty bitty hints of something. I'm going to give you one more. Okay. Still with your nose closed. No, it's still closed. Yeah, this is this one's just sweet. I can't taste anything else. Okay. Other than that. Okay. Now I want you to let go of your nose. Okay. Ha! <laughs> How does the experience feel now versus when you had your nose closed? It's like a flavor bomb <laughs> went off my mouth. Yeah. No one told me. Yeah. Yeah. It's much more fruity. Okay. Like it's just a ton of fruit flavor. Okay. In my mouth that I, because like obviously fruit's sweet, but the sweetness was there. Now this is like the actual flavor of things. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one more, and this time you don't have to close. Uh, you don't have to close your nose. Just eat it like you normally would. Okay. And then see if you can kind of figure out right away what you think it might be. Okay. Grape. I think it's grapey. Yeah, I think that's, that's my, mmm. Yeah, either grape or strawberry. I'm having trouble today figuring out the difference between those two, but I'm gonna say grape. It kind of becomes a medley, right? Mm hmm Because there are sort of multiple ones in here. I'm gonna give you the last one and uh, tell me what you think that one is. Too. Okay. Oh, this is, I feel like this is orange. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's a little more citrusy. Mm -hmm. Either orange or like lime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that last one was orange. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I get it now. Yeah, the this orange one, I could totally, totally taste the orange. The other ones, for the most part, just, especially when I plug my nose, mm -hmm. I could just taste sugar. I couldn't really, like, there was like a hint of something here and there, but for the most part, it was just really sugary. Yeah, and, and yeah, I mean, you know, because you're blindfolded, you're demonstrating another important part about flavor and mm -hmm. the full experience of eating a food, which is that we depend on color a lot. That's true. To kind of tell us what we're going to experience. It doesn't mean that we can't tell without our eyes, but our eyes definitely help a lot to see the shape of a thing and the color. But here we stripped away some of your other senses. Gotcha. So you were just relying yeah. only on the sense of taste to tell the difference between something which was really hard. It was really hard. It was actually very difficult to, to, to discern anything when it was just my, when it was just my t sense of taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that's a demonstration of kind of how simple a role taste plays in most of the foods that we eat and how it's kind of a combination of several of our different senses working yeah. together. That's true. Well, Juan, thank you so much for inviting me to your super secret lab and teach me all about smelling and tasting and all sorts of cool food science. Of course, happy to do it. And do you know you can do this experiment at home? See if you can taste different foods with or without your sense of smell. Could be a really fun activity. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Science Around Cincy. Do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Cincy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Sci Around Cincy.